So hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here again. And today I'd like to do another review video. What I have here is the Swift SW380T microscope. And I think it uh, could be a quite an interesting microscope uh, to have a closer look at if you're interested in amateur microscopy um, or maybe if you're looking for a microscope for educational use in a school. Um, and I think uh, it's uh, suitable because the quality is quite high and also it does not cost uh, all too much. And uh, what I would like to do in this video is, is I'd like to, um, of course, show you the different parts of the microscope. I mean, it's got the standard features, so there are no surprises here. And uh, later on, I'd like to also do a little bit of an unpacking. So I'm going to show you what can be found inside the box. And then at the very end, uh, I'm going to connect the camera to the microscope and then we're going to have a closer look at some of the specimens. Um, what I would like to do now for the next couple of minutes is simply show you um, a close up uh, of the different parts. And we're going to start off right away with the revolving nose piece. This is this part here where the objectives um, are connected to. Um, the microscope comes with uh, four objectives, the standard objectives are four times magnification, 10 times, 40 times, and also 100 times oil immersion. Um, so that if you use those 10 times eyepieces, you can get a magnification up to uh, 1000 times. Uh, but it is also possible to exchange those eyepieces. Um, you've got them here, you can see, okay. So these um, eyepieces magnify 25 times. And uh, when you connect them, then of course uh, you get 25 times 100, 2500 times uh, maximum total magnification. I personally think that uh, 1000 times is uh, really the maximum that anyone ever uh, would uh, like uh, to use. But in any case, it's possible to go up uh, significantly more. Um, so basically uh, the objectives uh, are of uh, pretty good quality. I'm quite satisfied uh, with that. Uh, and uh, also when you rotate uh, the revolving nose piece, yeah, it uh, locks into place uh, quite well. It uh, rotates smoothly and I can, you can actually feel that there is a, yeah, being made of fully of metal here, um, you can actually feel that uh, you know, it's a quality uh, engineered device. So that is uh, one thing. Um, the, what I've got here is, is I've got the trinocular version of the microscope. Um, the 380B um, is the binocular version, but if you, um, yeah, I would actually recommend that you get the trinocular version. It's simply so much more convenient uh, to connect the camera. Of course, one could also connect the camera directly to the eyepieces, but I think it's uh, convenience is, is uh, quite key here. And what you can see, of course, is that uh, you can um, adjust uh, the eye distance uh, like this. And uh, it is, of course, also possible to adjust for differences in eyesight. Uh, there is the so-called diopter adjustment here on the left eyepiece. So if you rotate the eyepiece, then you can compensate uh, for a different vision um, that you have. So if you're wearing glasses like I'm doing, then you just uh, keep it set to neutral. Um, and if you want to use the microscope without glasses, in my case, one of the eyes is much worse, then you have, you can compensate, uh, co can compensate it here. So, and so far, basically that's uh, all uh, quite, uh, quite standard. Um, of course, uh, it also has a uh, coarse and defined focus here. And that's also one of the things that I kind of like on this microscope is, is that the coarse and defined focus, uh, they are decoupled. So this means that when I turn the coarse focus knob, then the fine focus does not spin fast. There are certain microscopes uh, where they're uh, mechanically coupled um, and uh, this is not a problem really. But I just feel that uh, this uh, feels when you turn it, it feels a little bit more snappy or more, uh, more precise and less spongy. I know I've seen some microscopes that uh, when you turn them, it kind of feels a little bit mm, soft uh, and spongy and this is definitely not the case here. So that is actually one of the things that I like uh, about this microscope. Um, yeah, that uh, essentially the, the focus system uh, operates very smoothly. It has a mechanical stage, um, so that's also a very standard uh, feature that many microscopes have um, for X and Y, but there is one funny thing here. It's not funny, it's just a curiosity really. And that is, is that in the mechanical stage uh, micrometer here, I uh, they printed it on the wrong way, uh, because what you do is, is normally when I use the microscope, at least, I always use it like this. Uh, yeah, so that essentially the stage is accessible to me, <laughs> but then the numbers here are upside down. And I think one of the reasons is, is because the same mechanical stage can also be used for other microscope models where the microscope head 
the can be rotated around like this and then you basically uh, have it uh, the, in the correct orientation yeah but in this case of course you probably don't want to do that because in this case you have uh, the power supply pointing towards you and that actually you don't uh, want that so um, that's just a, a curiosity but not really um, an issue a uh, serious issue so let's uh, put this back again here um, so uh, what else do we have here um, on the side here we also have uh, of course down here this is uh, the light intensity control and um, it's an LED uh, microscope and uh, I would say that the LED is quite bright um, if you actually open it up I have to remove now the eyepieces I don't want them to fall out but I show you the bottom side here up oh, you gotta be careful you can actually open up uh, the bottom side uh, of the microscope and then the LED is accessible and if, when I looked at it and I see that it's a pretty big LED um, so um, I guess it must be exchangeable uh, but uh, I have to admit that uh, it seems to be quite uh, quite uh, big and not uh, just the regular standard small um, LEDs that you normally have so it's also one of the things that I like yeah uh, we're now going to continue down here um, this here is of course uh, the condenser of the microscope there is a yeah the aperture diaphragm here um, as well and the condenser can be raised and lowered but not by uh, moving a lever but by rotating uh, the condenser and some other microscopes actually also have a knob that you can turn uh, but here the condenser can be rotated up and down or moved up and down by simply turning it here usually you want to you, you want to leave it in the most upright position anyway so yeah so that is uh, basically pretty much everything I just wanted to show you here um, yeah, I already mentioned that uh, there are also replacement eyepieces here, uh, magnifying 25 times. And what I'm going to do now, I think, is I'm going to just uh, um, yeah, have, uh, put a camera on top here and then I'm going to uh, show you a couple of pictures. No, I promised you. First, I want to do some unpacking so that you see what you actually get in the box uh, when you order the microscope. Well, I did order the microscope from the German Amazon shop and uh, for this reason the included instruction manual was uh, written in, in German. There was also, of course, uh, a warranty um, included. So, but let's uh, let's open up uh, the box first. Uh, it's in the wrong orientation, I have to flip it around. Uh, so it says top on the, um, on the box cover. And uh, this is the microscope. Everything's uh, packaged uh, nicely in plastic. Um, yeah, and let's uh, start taking out the things here. This is uh, the trinocular tube uh, for the photo uh, camera, which has to be still connected. And uh, what are some other parts here? Yeah, of course, a power supply cable. It has an internal uh, power supply, not an external one. This is a 25 uh, times eyepiece. There is a 25 times and also a 10 times um, eyepiece. Uh, eyepieces are included. So that's the 25 times, of course. And uh, yeah, let's uh, unpack everything. Here. This is how it looks like. Uh, also, the stage was actually yeah, shrink wrapped uh, in, in plastic foil uh, to make sure that everything is uh, kept dust free. So I okay, carefully had to remove the rubber bands here. So, these are the objectives. Uh, four objectives, as I already mentioned, uh, are included here. Yeah, so and uh, then also now let's uh, rotate this a little bit. Uh, let's put the lowest uh, power in first. Um, and uh, yeah, where's the lowest power? Here it is. That's the lowest power. The four times the objective, so it's easier to remove uh, the plastic uh, also from from the stage. And I think uh, the companies uh, should uh, reduce a little bit the plastic waste. Uh, my personal opinion on this issue. Also here, this is a piece of paper for protecting the lens. So that is basically what is um, all in, included here. Uh, is immersion oil is included, um, and they also included um, a fuse and a blue filter because the microscope of course also has a filter holder. So that is basically all that's included, but what they did not include is, is they did not include an, any slides, so I would actually buy them um, as well. This microscope um, yeah, has a grip here. Uh, it's relatively wide, I have to say. Um, it is possible to carry it here. It's relatively heavy. Um, on the other hand, uh, this is also an advantage because it gives you stability. So if you have a, a place, a table where you simply keep the microscope um, all the time, then this is of course uh, fine. Yeah? Yeah. So um, let me put the eyepieces back here again. Okay, um, let's do the following. I'm just gonna now show you how I can connect the camera. So I'm gonna remove uh, the protective cap here. And over here I have a USB microscope camera. So I also am going to remove the protective cap here. Yeah, and of course you can directly connect it here uh, to the trinocular um, head. Nothing special here. 
or look at this here. This here is a, my DSLR camera, which also contains a microscope adapter and some optics here at the top. And of course, this can also go um, into the microscope here. And uh, of course, um, it might be a little bit too heavy if you want to connect it um, instead of one of the eyepieces. So uh, if you've got the binocular version, then of course you can connect uh, the camera also here um, instead of one of the eyepieces. This of course works. Um, however, a DSLR might be a little bit too heavy um, for the whole thing here. Yeah, so I'm just going to do the following. Now I'm just uh, going to also show you a couple of pictures uh, that I'm going to make. So I'm now doing a time-lapse video uh, of chloroplasts of uh, the water plant uh, Egeria densa. And uh, what you can see here um, on my wall here, this is not a computer monitor, but as a matter of fact, a green screen. Uh, and uh, during the whole time, you've now been watching pictures and videos uh, that have uh, been making using uh, this uh, very microscope. So I use now the uh, 40 times uh, objective uh, to uh, have a look um, into the cells um, and uh, it's a little bit of time lapse so you can see the individual chloroplasts, those green structures, uh, they are moving around and uh, it actually shows uh, that the microscope works uh, quite well. Now the next uh, couple of uh, slides are permanent slides uh, that are commercially prepared and I simply also took uh, a picture um, simply to show them uh, to you and you can see that uh, the image quality is quite nice. Um, if there is a little bit of blurriness, this could also be due to the camera adapter, which is uh, also which also contains an op some optics and which I found out was a little bit dirty. Um, so as a matter of fact, if I'd clean it, the image quality to be even yet slightly better. And again, a short video. And these are the pollen grains inside a pine flower, a male pine flower. So I think uh, that's enough for today. Um, if you have any comments, uh, please uh, write some comments. Maybe you already have a microscope or this particular model. And if you would like to share some of your opinions, please do so in the comments section. Um, I've also put an affiliate link uh, to this microscope in the comments uh, section below. Um, so uh, basically you can get some more information from Amazon, uh, from the Amazon comments and reviews there as well. Um, and uh, I think um, I would like uh, to simply call it uh, quits uh, for today. If you are interested in these type of videos, please uh, uh, subscribe to the channel if you're even interested. I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always. Uh, see you around next time and bye-bye. Uh,